Hey guys, I hope you have a great weekend. Go ahead and get out your journals and turn to this unit title page. Today's lesson is 1.3 multiplying binomials. So this is the very last lesson we did during distance learning back in March or back in May. So um, I know it's been a while. <laughs> That's why we're going to go over it to make sure that you really understand it because this is a huge concept in algebra that you really have to master. All right, so go ahead and write that down and then turn to the first page of your notes. Um, before we start doing multiplying binomials, let's just review real quick um, multiplying monomials. So for example, I'm just gonna get some clear space to write over here. Um, last week we were doing stuff like 2x times x squared plus 3x plus four. Okay, and then you would just distribute that out. All right, so that would be multiplying a monomial times a like polynomial. But today we're going to start multiplying a binomial times a binomial. So let's look at that. We are going to multiply each term of the first parentheses to each term of the second parentheses. This is also called the FOIL method. So let's do this first example together, okay? So we're gonna start with this first parenthesis in the x. I'm gonna multiply this first x by each term in the second parenthesis. So if I have x times x, that would give me x squared, and then x times three, would be 3x. Now I'm going to move to the 2. Let me change colors just so you can see it better. So now I'm going to multiply the 2 and distribute it out to each, ner to each term in the second parenthesis. So now I have 2 times x, which is 2x, and 2 times 3, which is 6. So I'm really distributing each term in the parentheses. I'm multiplying all of these terms together. So now all I have to do is just add them up and combine my like terms. So I have x squared, and then I can combine this 3x and 2x together to get 6x, I'm sorry, 5x. I can't add and then positive six. So this is called the full method because you're multiplying your first terms together first, the outer terms next, then the inner terms, and then the last terms. And that's just a way to remember it, okay? This is mainly just the distributive method because you're just distributing it out. All right, let's do the next example. So we're going to start with this first term, 2x, and multiply it by each term in the second parenthesis. So I need to start with 2x times x, which is 2x squared. And then I'm going to multiply the 2x times the 4 and get 8x. Now I can move to the next term, this negative 1, and distribute it out. So negative 1 times x is negative 1x, and negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. Now just combine your like terms. So we have 2x squared, then I have 8x minus 1x, so 8 minus 1 is 7x. Make sure you pay very close attention to your signs, and then minus 4. Okay, so that's the distributive or FOIL method. Now I'm going to show you how to do the box method. Okay, I showed you both methods last year, and you can pick which one you like best. This box method comes in handy whenever we start factoring, so I want to make sure that you actually see it, even though if you don't like to use it. All right, let's go ahead and do this box method. So whenever you do the box method, it's the same thing. You're still distributing it out, but you're going to set it up in a box format. So 
So since I have a binomial times a binomial, I'm going to do a two by two square. I'm gonna put the x minus five up here as the length or the width, and then three x minus four along the length. And it doesn't matter, we could have switched it. We could have put three x minus four up top and x minus five along the side. Either way, you'll still get the same answer. So now you're just gonna multiply these terms together. So for this first box, I have 3x times x, which would give me 3x squared. And then 3x times negative 5 is negative 15x. Negative 4 times x is negative 4x. And then negative 4 times negative 5 is positive 20. Just pay very close attention to your signs whenever you're multiplying. Now we can combine like terms, okay? So I have 3x squared in this corner. And then if you'll remember, I should get the same terms in this diagonal. So I've got negative four plus negative 15. Remember you're combining like terms here, not multiplying whenever you're combining them in the box. You're just simplifying it. So negative four plus negative 15 would be negative 19x and then positive 20. If you fold it out, just like what we were doing up there, you should have gotten the same answer. Remember, these are the same uh, methods. It's just putting it in a little bit different format. Okay, last one on this page. So I'm going to draw another box again. And I'm going to put x plus 3 along the top and x minus 3 along the side. So x times x is x squared. x times 3 is 3x. Negative 3 times x would be negative 3x. And then negative 3 times positive 3 is negative 9. So I have positive x squared. 3x plus negative 3x. So what happens there? I've got positive 3x and negative 3x. If you said they get canceled or eliminated, you're correct. Because when I add them together, it equals 0. So it's gone. You don't have any x terms now. And then I'm just left with minus 9. So my answer would be x squared minus 9. Okay, now let's go into the next page. Now we're going to multiply a binomial by a trinomial. Yay! This looks like so much fun. I'm sure y'all are thinking the exact same thing. Okay, so this is when I really like the box method because it helps you stay organized. Um, I'm going to first show you what to do if you don't do the box method. So if you were going to just distribute this out, you'd start with the x and you would multiply it by every term in the second parentheses. Okay, and then you would switch and come to the 3 and multiply or distribute it out to each term in the second parentheses. Okay, as you can tell, that's lots of distributing, and then you would add and combine all your like terms. So there's lots of room to make mistakes in there. This is why I like doing a box. So since we're doing a binomial times a trinomial, now we need a two by three rectangle. I'm gonna put the two x squared plus x plus four along the top, and then x plus three along the side. If you would rather do a rectangle that looks like this, you could do that as well. Now we're just gonna multiply all of our terms together. So I have 2x squared times x would be 2x cubed. Then x times x is x squared. x times 4 is 4x. 3 times 2x squared would be 6x squared. 3 times x is 3x. And then 3 times 4 
is 12. Okay, so now we just need to combine our like terms with inside the box. So I have a 2x cubed. And then this first diagonal, you should have all x squareds. That's another way to check yourself, okay? These units should be the same most of the time. So I have 6x squared plus 1x squared. So 6 plus 1 would give me 7x squared. Then I have 4x plus 3x would be 7x. And then 12. If you use the distributive method, then you should have gotten the same thing. Okay, I want you to try this last problem on your own. Don't get scared, it's okay. I'll help you get it set up, and then you can pause the video, and if you got it right, you can get a ticket. So this time we've got the trinomial first, but it's okay. If we do the box method, just set it up the same way. I'm gonna put the trinomial up top, 3x squared minus 4x plus one and 2x minus 5 along the side. Okay, go ahead and start multiplying that and then combine your like terms. Pause the video and then whenever you're done, see if you got it right for a ticket. All right, so let's see if you got it right. 2x squared times 3x squared would be 6x cubed. 2x times negative 4x is negative 8x squared. And 2x times 1 is just 2x. Now for the bottom row, negative 5 times 3x squared is negative 15x squared. Negative 5 times negative 4 is 20x. And negative 5 times 1 is negative 5. Okay, now let's just combine like terms. So I'll start off with a 6x cubed. I need to add negative 15x squared and negative 8x squared, which would give me a negative 23x squared. Then I need to add 20x plus 2x to get 22x, and then negative 5. Good job. If you got that right, you can get a ticket. That's all for the notes today. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.